Right guys, back for another Dokkan and Legends video as well as covering the V-Jump scans which were released earlier today. And we'll also be talking about the Jump Festa event which will be, uh, I say premiering, but we live streaming on YouTube uh, later today or I say later today, but in a few hours from now. Um, I'm not really going to speculate too much about the V-Jump stuff because I missed it. I believe this had leaked like almost five or six or seven hours ago at this point. So just quick summaries. Uh, Thank you to DBS Hype as well, because of course the scans have come from him. The Legends didn't really do anything. Uh, we already know about the Broly, the Broly and Chi-Lai Zenkai. Uh, they also teased the Platinum Equips, which we've known about for some time. I suppose the one silver lining for Legends is that earlier today, they did talk about the video and stuff, or videos and stuff, for the part two of the Legends Festival. Uh, I presume that is where we'll see the next new character, whether it will be a Gogeta Blue or Full Power Broly, it remains to be seen. Whether or not we'll see an LF or an Ultra LF or just an Ultra, again, that remains to be seen. Uh, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think is coming. I personally think it has to belong to the Dragon Ball Super Broly film, uh, just because the Blizzard theme song is running up until January. Uh, I think a lot of people are thinking Gogeta Blue, but I would not be surprised if it's a Broly type unit because they got to try and drop a counter, I think, to this Blue Goku and Vegeta who are running amok right now in uh, PvP. But again, that's just my own personal thoughts. It's honestly a shame just because Legends always do this now with V-Jump. Like, I feel like V-Jump is, or it should be used as an avenue to promote up and coming hype. But yeah, they drop the ball every single month with V-Jump. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, the team at Legends. Uh, talking about Dokkan, of course, we already know about the LR Future Gohan and Trunks. Pretty phenomenal unit. Their banner is out right now. I would refrain from summoning for now, but if, you, if you've summoned, you've summoned. Uh, we're moving on to Harry Tony's quote tweet. Again, thank you to him. Uh, okay, what do we have here? So it seems as if the Ultimate Dragon Ball Saga will be added to the Dragon Ball story. Okay, players can get a new support memory from completing the missions. And then the three units at the bottom of the page are going to receive an EZA through the uh, EZA area event. So, um, okay, so we have these three units right here. There's not really much to talk about with EZAs because they can literally do anything. Uh, I suppose if we talk about their pre-EZA kits, uh, I know this uh, Supreme Kai and Kai unit in general. Uh, I believe they gain attack and defense 20% as well as one key for each realm of God's category enemy. So... Uh, I suppose they could literally do anything. Um, they're only on three categories as well. Uh, this, Gohan and Videl are on three categories, but they could have a very, a very similar effect, sorry, to the int third form Frieza, uh, because I believe they raise attack for six turns as a super attack effect. They also lose attack potency each turn. I believe they lose like 7% attack each turn at a max of 35%. Um, but they slap something like raises defense for one turn on there. Uh, and they'll be good to go because they have like an avenue. I say they have an avenue, but they have the ability to launch additional super attacks within the same turn. So that could be an interesting unit upon any upon their EZA. And then we have this unit right here, which is a Gohan and Videl. Uh, they're, they're actually an exchange unit. I believe they start off as the Great Saiyan 2 and then exchange into Gohan. So Videl into Gohan. Uh, I believe Gohan is just a generic hard hitting unit. Uh, I believe Videl actually lowers attack through her super attack, she lowers attack through her passive, as well as being a special pose category support ally, uh, sorry, as well as a special pose support type unit, which, I mean, what a great category, right? Special pose, um, so they could literally do anything for three of these units. I suppose the main talking point, though, is that they all belong to the Boo Saga, and with the New Year's um, Dual Dokkan Fest fast approaching, I suppose this is indicating that... <laughs> We're going to get a Boo Saga Dual Dokkan Fest, which is a bit strange. At this point, we've only really got Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Kid Boo left. Um, I suppose they could be funky and drop something left field like a Hercule Dokkan Fest. I mean, like if they drop Videl as a Dokkan Fest, they could literally drop a Hercule and then maybe like a Deborah Dual Dokkan Fest. It's not going to happen, right? I'm just, I'm just memeing at this point. Um, I suppose the only other thing to talk about is that he did mention that there's going to be a new event. Uh, of course... This is pertaining to the Dragon Ball story event, which is where, like, Dokkan is now going to implement, I say implement, but include revamped story events that are already in the game. Of course, that will reset missions, reset stones, as well as including a lot of special animations. Uh, it happened during the version Z Part 1 mini celebration, where they revamped the Saiyan Saga story event. So, I presume this is from the Boo Saga. I don't know what event this is, or whether this will be 
a new event. I presume because it says added, they're going to create a new story event. But again, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for V-Jump. The only other thing to talk about is Jump Festa. Now, Dragon Ball Legends, Dokkan, as well as the Dragon Ball Super superhero film are all going to receive a panel during Jump Festa. Uh, as Air Dokkan says here, it's going to start from 13 hours from around 5.09pm. So uh, we're looking around 7am for me in the morning. I believe for EST people, that's like five hours behind me. So we're looking at what? about 2 a.m. in the morning for you guys, which is uh, kind of bad. So that is where I think we'll likely see the next Dual Dokkan Fest for JP. If you take a look at Jump Fest last year, they did reveal uh, PyCon and Janemba, as well as their Super Attacks and the Banners. So I presume the same thing will happen this year, as well as maybe a teaser for Part 2 of Version Z, because they did say that uh, the Version Z update would get a Part 2. Uh, the link for that can be found on their channel, right? The 8... I don't know why they call it 876 TV, but... It is what it is. What I'll do is actually drop this link below in the comments below because I've, I've seen some people not know how to access the link. So I'll go ahead and drop that. As for Legends, what they could honestly display at Jump Festa, I really don't know. I don't think they're going to talk about their new unit. I say their new unit, but their main new unit, right? I mean, maybe they say something like part two will feature the first summonable ultra. So please tune into our uh, video and stuff which will happen on the 23rd to get more info on that so maybe that will generate more hype but i don't anticipate legends to tell us who the actual character will be but that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think and yeah i'll catch you next one peace